I think we can all remember getting our first summoning eye, and the nostalgia that was brought with it. However, somewhat recently, once the Draconic update was dropped, a whole new area designed for Z-Lock grinding was added. And as most of you may know, it gave you some pretty insane summoning eye rates. But that update was released almost 6 months ago now, and I wanted to see if it would uphold with today's standards of an actual good money making method, and whether it could compete with things like the garden which is already pretty cracked for money on its own. And I'm not gonna lie to you, the results generally surprised me a ton when I found an entirely unique way to farm these. Now we're all familiar with Mage and Hypixel Skybox, and we're even more familiar with the notorious Hyperion. However, a fully scrolled Hyperion costs literally more than the entire GDP of the Solomon Islands, aka we are both very, very poor. So instead of using a Hyperion, I opted for a setup using the Fire Veil wand, infamous for having a large AoE effect that Hyperion has, and only costing about 1% of the price. And for the rest of the setup, it was quite simple, I just chose to use full Aurora armor along with an AOTV with the sighted magical power, which gave me way more than enough damage to one-shot the Z-Lock bruisers. But if you have Storm armor or Wither goggles, that works perfectly fine too, but Aurora was just simply cheaper and the whole setup that I used only costed me 25 million coins, which is a very small price to pay for how much this moneymaker earns. Now enough hyping this method up for so long, and let's finally talk about how we kill the Zealots in the most effective manner possible. Since I want to make this guide as useful as possible, I decided it'd be best if I hop in game and show you the most effective routes that I found whilst using this setup to give you the best summoning eye rates as possible. As you can see after running down the stairs, you should probably find the Zealots in a sort of figure of 8 fashion, where you loop around mainly at the bottom area as that's where most of the Zealots seem to spawn in close proximity to each other. Obviously having as much speed and mana as possible is vital for this method as you can then easily TP around with your aspect of the void. Just remember to constantly reactivate your fire veil wand and you should be able to get a ton of summoning eyes. Speaking of summoning eyes, let's talk about how much this method actually makes and whether it's worth the effort or not. Now after trying this method for one full hour, I managed to get 3048 Zealot kills and 10 summoning eyes, which equates to around 304 kills per eye. This makes us around 8 million coins per hour, which is already pretty decent on its own, especially for the fact that this method has only costed us 25 million coins. But Oliver, you might say, the title says we can make over 10 mil per hour, so what type of games are you pulling here? Well, not to worry, since I didn't use an Enderman pet, we actually got a lot less summoning ice than we normally would. If we include a legendary level 100 E-Man into our calculations, then we can make over 10 million coins per hour, since it boosts your rates by over 25%, which is honestly why I think this method is so good now. The only drawback to this is that a level 100 Enderman costs over 65 mil, so if you're committed to the grind then you can buy this pet, but it is very expensive so just do keep that in mind. Other than that, just remember to max out your Z-Luck perk at the Dragon Ritualist and you should be all set for this method. If you try this method for yourself, then do let me know how I went in the comments down below because I do generally want to see if people have cracked RNG with summoning eyes because some people get like 30 eyes an hour, but let's be honest, that RNG carried. And if you found this at least somewhat helpful, then I'd greatly appreciate it if you subscribed as it really does mean a lot to small content creators like myself. Regardless of all that stuff though, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your days out there and I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.